Hello everyone and welcome to another lore video. This is Andy from Event Horizon Gaming and I'm very very excited for the next hero's lore. So strap on, uh, buckle up because this is going to be awesome. So Mr. Arrogance over here. We are gonna talk about him and it's going to be quite cool because he is one of my... He's the fa my favorite character to be completely honest. I've always wanted him ever since I started playing the game which was by the time the Razak and Arrogance banner has come out and only s recently I managed to get him and I was so 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 happy because he managed to dodge me every single time I had a chance to pull him. So Last time in uh, other videos we talked about uh, Lust that actually has some type of weird relationship with Arrogance. He, she's supposed to be his girlfriend but uh, they have a love-hate relationship I guess. They did the deed <laughs> in a volcano um, and there was a lot of release of that uh, tension between them. But uh, in typical Lust fashion she left him there. Uh, while the volcano started to erupt, which was quite uh, an interesting ending to her story. But we also learned about Zilitu, which is actually his sister, um, and how she actually had a child with an archangel, which was pretty, pretty cool. Um, and we also talked about Valyria, all from the Nightmare faction. I mean, not all Zilitu is from the Infernal faction, but we all know she looks really nightmarish anyway. So, um, yeah, we ta also talked about Valyria and learned that she was actually a human raised by orcs. So that would explain her pretty cool and immense strength. So, as in typical lore fashion, we are going to um, look a little bit at arrogance and how he looks like, because this is part of the reason why I got attracted to this hero in the first place. He is one of the best looking heroes in the game. I love edgy stuff and he is the edgiest hero we have so far. He has amazing looks. He has some type of neck bone, neck collar, whatever. Next, that seems to be metallic, has a pretty pretty cool looking skull with raging fiery eyes. And that skull seems to be holding some type of chain stripping down to his uh, other piece of clothing that's that's going to be connected to with his collar and uh, starting by his waist has uh, some more chains, some type of rope uh, and he has a ty type of bow I guess but the bow looks really uh, bio bio looking I guess like it has some type of skin or um, texture biological texture on it it's also fiery or some it has some type of uh, red energy similar to how Valeria's weapon was having uh, which is cool he also holds some uh, some fire some red red blood red fire in his hand which is really really cool because in his kit he actually can um, trigger some burning on enemies which is very very nice and overall he's ripped overall he's ripped he has really really cool uh, arms piece arm armlet pieces over here because apparently i think it's that's supposed to protect his arm from um, preparing or uh, uh, pulling his bow so all in all it's very cool I love the contrast between the white hair and the rest of the, the um, red skin and these tattoos over here or tattoos over here are very 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 cool looking just because it reminds me of one of my favorite characters in World of Warcraft lore which is Illidan right so if you actually now that I'm saying his name, I think he looks kind of similar to Illid and like he kind of has a world glaive, right? If you some of you know uh, World of Warcraft lore and are familiar, I think you will know what I'm talking about. He also has some similar tattoos as Illidan and body build as Illidan, but um, he is still very very cool looking, and I'm really really curious to see what his lore is because. Uh, We've gotten, we've kind of gotten a spoiler from some other uh, uh, content creators. I mean, I got some spoilers from some other content creators that uh, he's uh, 
Zilletu's brother, but uh, I don't really know his full story. And since he kind of is connected with Zilletu and Lust, which we already did, I just wanted to start uh, to continue with him in uh, our lore, in our lore video series. So. He doesn't have a video, but uh, if you guys want to see him uh, in a cinematic type of environment, you can watch last video and there at the end you will see him sitting on a, some type of throne. So, uh, let's see, let's see what uh, what's this uh, character's story is going to be. So, Cinderstalker to kill or arrogance, this ancient demon will never let you get close. With bow or sword, his enemies are charred to a crisp. So, <laughs> not really sword looking this one, but uh, I know he's a melee to range hybrid, which is really really cool. So let's go to his story. Torn wings. Okay, so some painful stuff over here. <sighs> Among the most ancient and ambitious of demons, and perhaps the most destructive, Arrogance, or the kill as he is called in the demon tongue, is the embodiment of arrogance itself. Seeing the lower demons writhing in their obscene ugliness, he came to believe he must be better than them, thinking he was truly a superior demon being and it was his right to rule them with his madness and violence. As with all demons, his origins are not entirely clear. Described as the younger brother of demon Zaltir and the succubus queen Zelitu, Arrogance was created at the dawn of the world when all was swirling chaos and destruction. Evil solidified in the maelstorm as beings known as demons that were worshipped by the early people of Tia helped to create the arrogance that would define this demon. For, he, for his worshippers, he was the pride and arrogance so necessary to get ahead in Tia and that, wo and that which so often leads, leads to downfall. In the beginning, Zilitu, Zaltir and Arrogance were triplets. Once the same spirit created at the dawn of Tia cleaved between seduction in Zilitu, aggression in Zaltir and Arrogance in Zukil to use his demon name. All three skimmed their rises to power from the beginning, yet Arrogance was too proud to believe the others were threat. Using the pride of Arrogance against him, Zilitu cast a curse on him, shown by the painful sigils which she carved all over his body dooming him to never have more power than he, her as the eldest triplet, driving him mad with envy and rage. In a great fit of anger, Arrogance ripped out the eye of his brother and slew him, taking his soul and using his evil eye to absorb the souls of his victims and enhance his power. It is this hateful eye that he continues to wear on his belt. Arrogance has never been satisfied with what he has had, ever looking with envy at the superiority of his sister. Arrogance found this too much to bear and realized the need for a great feat and weapon to prove his mastery. Determined to show his difference to all other demons, he tore off his wings in defiance of the kind he believed below him. Proving he had abandoned his skin, he turned his wings into a powerful weapon that served as both a bow and a blade. With great cruelty that shocked even demons, he then enslaved many of the demonic legions to begin his plan to subdue them and then all of Tia as he believed himself to be its rightful ruler. Now the master of much of the demon legion which he spits upon, this is still not enough for Arrogance's pride. Filled with the power of the souls he has stolen, he will not stop until he has declared himself the supreme being in all of Tia doing with it and those who ever doubted him what he pleases. All hail Dreadrolled to kill, glorious in his horror and future lord of all demon kind. Okay, so quite some interesting stuff over here. So apparently the markings on his body are not actually tattoos, but actually these are sigils, um, the outcome of a curse that uh, Zilitu has cast upon him. So in his arrogance, I think this type of curse is the worst type that he could have uh, been cursed with since he is the embodiment of arrogance and yet he will never be able to be the top G or the best demon of all since he will never be able to be po more powerful than Zelitu. And in his rage, he actually slew his brother, his other brother, which name was um, Zaltir. 
so pretty interesting uh, he tore he also tore out his eye apparently and the eye that of uh, of Zaltir is actually this uh, little gem over here it's not that so little but this gem over here in like uh, encased in his belt uh, and with this eye apparently he can steal souls and at the same time their power which is quite cool and if you guys don't know this belt is actually also his uh, exclusive artifact so this is exactly how it looks in the artifact forge and besides that i think the most uh, interesting fact about him and why the story is actually called torn wings this bow over here is looking so so bile not because he it's an actual bow or something but it's actually his wings that he clipped together and made a bow and these wings actually also work as a sword so how cool is that right to rip out your own wings to create a bow out of them and also slice people with your bow it's pretty pretty cool right so really 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 cool story i really really like the fact that he's uh he's looking this way and has this type of uh this type of story i would have loved a little bit more of an anti-hero story in in what i mean by that is that i would have loved him to not be just the embodiment of arrogance and his sole purpose to be so simplistic as to i want to be the powerful the most powerful i want to be the greatest i would have liked to be to have a little bit more depth but i think it's still very a very good story considering that um every single uh, character in this game actually has a short uh, story that sometimes intertwines with others so in the context of such a game i think it's a really decent story mm, let me know maybe i can i can do continuations on this, of this on these stories let me know in the comments below um and um yeah i think this is going to be it let me know if you want to have a specific hero story showcased in one of my future videos um i really really like doing these videos because it's really interesting to read the lore and interconnect this is actually the sole purpose of this lore series lore video series to interconnect stories and actually have a more cohesive idea of what the story in watcher of realms looks like looks like so um i hope you like this one uh if you liked this one and you are not, you aren't subscribed please make sure to do so I've kind of hit a wall in which I don't get that many views and I don't really have any um, addition, additions in my subscriber count but uh, I, I, I'm sure that's going to be a reason and it's going to push me to make even better content so uh, that's going to be enough for ranting uh, this has been Andy don't forget to like to subscribe Event Horizon Gaming here uh, leave a comment I read every single comment that I see and have a good one guys see ya bye bye